Oh my gosh, it worked. Y'all, I've been trying to get this out for about an hour now. And uh, my camera was disabled again. This is a red alert. Saints targeted individuals, children of the Most High. Um, it is July 19, 2018. I am utterly wiped out. I've been sleeping no more than two hours a day, every day, for the past week and a half. If y'all been following me, it's part of the um, the shift that we're going through. It's also an attack of the enemy. Boy, I've been getting attacked today, y'all. I wanted to come out and give y'all a heads up on everything. As I started this, I'm getting struck with severe dizziness. So, um, yeah, if y'all can pray for me, they're striking me with my really bad stomach pains, really bad dizziness, heart palpitations, and a bunch of other things, and sleeplessness. Um, but it's also part of the uh, shift that we're going through. Today is a very weird day. It's July 19th, like I said. <laughs> and forgive me if I repeat things because I'm really, really so, so, so tired. But Lord's given me enough energy to get this out. So um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, the planets, all of the planets in our solar system are gonna all be on one side of the earth today, which is very rare. I don't think it's happened in like 150, 160 years. And it's gonna remain like that for seven weeks, putting us into the beginning of September. Um, we got that blood moon coming up y'all too, uh, which is another high alert on July 27th. Now for a, on a serious note, a lot of crazy stuff has happened today. Um, Zeph Daniel's daughter, Zeph Daniel's is an awesome, awesome blessing to the body of Christ as well as all targeted individuals. He is actually the first person that I was led to um, when I found out what targeting was and it was like he, the Lord used him to verify what I was hearing was true. And then it was Dequita Carva in that order. Zeph Daniel's and Dequita Carva. Zeph's daughter just, just died. They claim that I haven't done any research yet. I got this information through a viewer. Thanks, Sis, Sis uh, Cheryl. Thank you so much. Uh, what a sad, sad day. Um, Zeph's daughter supposedly hung herself, but as we know, I put out a video about it's part of uh, what the satanic sacrifice they use. Um, they use hangings because uh, Jesus hung on the cross, right? So it's symbolic. They mock everything that the Lord does, these Satanists. So I have no doubt that, I highly doubt she actually did this to herself. So please pray for Zeph. We know that his daughter is with father right now. There's a lot of craziness going on right now, y'all. Get your stomping boots ready because we're about to roll out, TIs. Regulators, you're on my team, you know who you are, we're about to go up. I, had, I hadn't been getting any dreams because I've been sleeping literally. If I get a full hour of sleep, it's a miracle. Usually I sleep about 30 minutes, um, then I wake up, then a few hours later I fall back asleep for another 30 minutes and it's been averaging two hours a night for a week. One night I got four hours and that was it. So the reason I'm telling you all this is because um, it's not only attack of the enemy with our sleep disturbances, but also the uh, the grand solar minimum, the shifting. We're going into the fifth dimension, the uh, age of Aquarius, right? So our bodies have to lighten up to be able to go into this new shift and become bodies of light. Uh, we're going to be transformed, but we have to be light enough to go up. You can't be harboring any anger, unforgiveness, any resentment any unconfessed sin, if you sin, get back on your knees, repent, repent, repent. Like Karen, Sis Karen says, repent, repent, repent. We have to stay in repentance. We're going to sin. We're human. Uh, but but it's you're obedient if you're trying your best not to. And once you do realize that you slipped up, you get right back into repentance again. And uh, Anyway, I'm sorry I'm really <laughs> worn down today. Um, but you, you know what I'm saying. You heard me? All right, so there's a lot of strange things going on today. 
Um, New York had an explosion. It was a uh, water pipes or something, some sort of pipes. Again, I haven't even had time to research any of this. I'm just rolling out what the Lord has been showing me. I had watched uh, one short clip, a news clip online, because I don't watch TV, of the New York explosion. And they said that the, uh, the mayor of New York, it happened on Manhattan, in Manhattan, said that they thought that there was asbestos in the piping system, which is very odd, but they put asbestos in all the FEMA trailers that we got, y'all, after Hurricane Irma. I mean, Katrina, I went through both of them. Hurricane Katrina in 2015, I mean in 2005, see how tired I am? And uh, yeah, it made a lot of us sick. But anyway, I digress. So what they're gonna do is they're using that as an excuse to shut down the city and go into all the buildings and they specified whether it's uh, for business or it's residential. They're gonna go on in there and they're gonna they're gonna scope out all the buildings. That reeks of freaking, show me your papers, your papers. Nazi freaking Germany, freaking martial law is being ro rolled out, y'all. Just like I said, I felt it was New York, California, and then the East Coast and possibly Texas. They're gonna hit us from four angles. So what I've been showed, this is the beginning. Also, in Hawaii, they had an explosion out of the volcano and a giant lava rock. And again, with my dream about the lava, and there's no what I heard. Oh man, here we go. Okay, well, it's still rolling. Um, went through, uh, you know, how they have the cruise ships that show uh, like how the lava flows out. They don't get that close to it. So this thing shot up that far to hit a boat out in the sea of Hawaii and went through the ceiling of the boat and I don't think anybody died but some people got hurt that landed in someone's chair. Could you imagine? Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! I don't mean to make light of it but we gotta laugh in these dark times y'all. We have to have some sort of joy and uh, so that's part of my mission is to try to bring light. Lighten up. Lighten up baby I'm in love with you. There's another old song that just popped in my head. Get it out! Okay, so, yeah, we got some craziness going on here. Um, let's see. Okay, Atlantis. I was shown Atlantis in several dreams many, many, many years ago. In one dream, I was swimming. This was probably 20 years ago, and I wouldn't awake then. But I always had vivid dreams and dreams that would come true even when I was little. And prophecy dreams, I guess. And I was swimming through what I learned to be Atlantis in my dream. And I could breathe underwater. And I went into, the house, into this house that was underwater. And everything was just as if it was on land. Nothing was floating around. And I knew that was my mother's house. I was adopted, so... Could this be my real mom is from Atlantis? I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. What kind of topsy-turvy, bizarro world are we in? Hello? What? <laughs> That's what you says, Karen. What? <laughs> That's about the most energy I'm going to do for today. All right. Then I had a, a, a really quick little dream I had yesterday. It's the only part of the dream I could remember because, like I said, I might have slept two hours total. I dreamt of standing in a room and there was sliding glass doors from top, from floor to ceiling and there was a seal. Arr, 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 arr. Is that what a seal sounds like? No, not you, Beignet. A seal was standing out, or not standing, it was sitting outside of a sliding glass window. I was like, what in the world? Why would I dream of a seal? And then I thought Navy SEALs. It could be Navy SEALs, but, you know, rescue. We're God's Navy SEAL. The Lord showed me Navy SEALs in God's kingdom is new angelic vessels for Yahweh. Yep, he showed me that about a year ago. And then the second thing that popped into my head was the sixth seal. Could this be it? I don't know. It's just not a, not a dream I've ever had about a seal before. Okay, then I'm on the phone with Sis Karen from Sarah Forth calling. 
again. And I get a incoming call, which I don't answer. I'm trying to see if I can get it on here. There it is. This is my incoming call. Zero, 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 zero. And I looked up the meaning. One meaning means Jesus' death. But the other one means Homeland Security phone number. Yeah. Uh-huh. They're scouting us out, you heard. Okay, then I had my, now i got to be quiet, my landlord biatch me out today for quite a, quite a bit. Went on for at least 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Then he came back and did it a little bit longer. I didn't have the air on, and it is boiling hot in here. I need to be quiet because he's next door. So... It's boiling, boiling, boiling hot here in New Orleans. It says the temperature is 99 but feels like 110. It's 110. It doesn't feel like it. It is 110. They're lying. They lie. Everything they do is lies. But he had told me that the uh, it's all bills paid little room that I have, right? And he said that it's just a room. It's one room with a tiny little air conditioner. How much... How much electricity could I possibly be using? And I turn it off randomly. Like when I leave, I'm very good about turning it off. And then at night, I turn it off for several hours. But it's just miserable in the middle of the day here. However, it was this morning, so I had it off still when he came. And he started complaining, I would say, biatching that I had my air on too much. And it was unacceptable, and I needed to start keeping it off. And uh, he had just made me pay an extra six sixty dollars for one little. It's old. This thing is old. He wants to get better air, you know, better uh, lower bills. Get a better air conditioner than this one. But anyway, um, so I've been trying to keep it off as much as I can, but it's miserable. It's sweating. My dog's panting. But I had it off when he came in, and. Again, I'm rambling because I'm so tired. Rambling man. I'm a rambling man. And he just made me pay an extra $60. And this is supposed to be all bills paid. I, I highly doubt that I ran it up that much. But I noticed he was wearing a voodoo necklace. And Sus Karen and I had just got off the phone. And I had said that the lead singer of Nickelback, who I love that band. I, I'm sorry, but I really did love them had a voodoo necklace on and when the landlord came over it was literally one minute after I text her that he's wearing the same necklace <laughs> just weird stuff it's all part of the enemy's attacks just like he wouldn't allow me to get on uh, online here for about the last hour okay so what else is going on yeah the Nazis the Nazis are gonna be coming into buildings invading checking your papers High alert TIs, you're, you're on the front lines. You have to know Jesus at this time. He will guide us. We're not to have any fear. Uh, he will guide us. I have not been shown that we're going to be captured. I, I know that me and my group will not be captured or taken to FEMA camps. We are about to go up and get our glorified bodies and come back and kick the fallen aces. So that's why they're on us so much. And, uh, wow. Wow. Um, Okay, yesterday uh, we were talking about the water going up to the wedding feast, evolving, uh, being able to go with the new earth. There will be a new heaven and new earth. The old heaven and the old earth will pass away, right? That scripture. All right, and that we were believing that we were going to go to the beach, and then we're believing that, you know, other, um, other people on my team and Sis Karen's team which we were connected on the same team the beach and then the mountains and right after that I said yeah I believe that I go on to I was looking something up and before I could get into it it said verify you're not a robot by checking all of the pictures and y'all seen this where you check all these little boxes off that have usually it's vehicles or it'll be street signs and you have to check each one off to verify you're not a, a robot, right? I am not a robot. I'm a human being. 
Double Lamagato, Mr. Roboto. Double Arigato, Mr. Roboto. <laughs> this is called Punch Drunk, y'all. I'm Punch Drunk. Oh, I need to go get that Wonder Woman bracelet. I don't feel like y'all seeing me. <laughs> so, just imagine I got it on. Wonder Woman! Anyway, uh, what was I talking about? <laughs> Boy, this... This is going to be one lame video, I can tell you that. But at least I'm getting the information out in case we can't get back on anymore. I forgot what I'm... Oh, yeah. Okay. And I'm supposed to verify I'm not a robot. Check all of the pictures with... No, it didn't say vehicles. No, it didn't say street signs. Boats. Boats. Yeah. They stole my boat, Amazing Grace, from me. But I'm believing... Wow, and this is the time, right, when I was going to show you all something. Oh, it went off. Yeah, the time went off. 4:11. Anyway, uh, we're gonna ha we're gonna be in boats. We're gonna be rescuing people. We're gonna be doing all kinds of stuff. But here's the cool part, y'all. Ask the Lord specifically for y'all, the true TIs, true God saints, God's end time saints, family. What does He want me to tell y'all for today? Ready? Revelation 1914 and the armies which were in heaven followed him that's Jesus upon white horses white horses clothed in linen white and clean yep we're about ready to ride we're about to go up and I'm sorry <laughs> uh, I'm like really winding down right now Okay, um, what else do I want to say? Um, yeah, we have to get our bodies of light. You have to let go of any kind of unforgiveness, anger, resentment, any kind of sin, ha habitual sin that you're doing. Let it go. Give it to the Lord. Repent, repent, repent. We will be redeemed, hence the name of my, uh, my channel. The Lord gave me that name. I didn't think of that myself. Jubilina Redeemed. Um, if y'all are new to my channel, my name is Lena. That's where the Jubilina came from. I was born in the year of Jubilee right now. But anyway, what else? Okay, so then after that, um, after that, I went back on later. I'm going to show you all a picture of this. I can find it. I went back online later after the, you know, the question on check each box that has a boat and let's see if I have it yep I got it and this was my screensaver it's still on there today this popped up you can see it was yesterday but look what the caption says I'll read it to you I'll zoom it up so y'all can see it a place known for partying is evolving into a more peaceful paradise. If that's not telling us about the new heaven and the new earth, and this picture looks exactly like the Seven Mile Bridge going to Key West, and I keep wanting to go back to Florida, and I'm, I'm just praying if the Lord tells me to go, I could go. Then it talks about partying. Well, what are we going to be doing in heaven? We're going to be going to the wedding feast. It's a big party. And then what does it say? A more peaceful paradise. But it's amazing. It says it's evolving. That's what the earth is in the process of doing right now. we got to move with it if we want to go into the fifth dimension. Okay, this is, a, this is an explanation of what is going on. We are frequency, okay? This is a picture of the frequency. And this is the lowest resonate. And you targets know all about the red shirts, right? That's why they wear red shirts. That's why the Nazis wear red. That's why the Templar Knights wear red. That's why our gang stalkers red, wear red. Because they are the lowest of the low. They are, what do I call them? The bottom feeders. And that is people that, they're at 20% resident residents. They feed off of shame guilt, apathy, grief, and fear. Those are the four lowest frequencies. To get up where God is, 
And to be able to leave this matrix, you have to get rid of the next ones. All of those got to go. And then you progress up. Then it's desire, then anger, then pride, then courage. And you see how it leaps up from 175 to 500? That's what a big deal, or no, I'm sorry, to 200. Then you're neutral, meaning, you know, you could go either way. You're like, kind of like peaceful, I guess. Then willingness, acceptance, reason, love is 500. That's where it jumps way up. Then joy, and what was I saying the other day about joy? Everything was joy. Even the lady that sent me the, uh, the free Wonder Woman bracelet, I didn't ask for that thing. I bought a shirt, and that came with it. Or some, something it's for ten dollars, and then uh, okay, reason, love, joy, peace, and then once you get all of those and you have peace, joy, and love, you're into enlightenment. Y'all can go on and type this in. It's called a, uh, it's called our resonance, ultimate consciousness, omega. I don't know if y'all can see it. I'll leave it like this so y'all can see it. And the Lord's been showing me that, that it's all frequency. Here it is again. I wish I knew how to do a screensaver. I don't know. Okay, now here's the next phenomenon. I'll let y'all have a cute little, since I'm saying all this negative stuff, I want y'all to see something cute, but it's weird too. My freaking dog. Yeah, I said free. Ken. Freaking. She's free and she's my kin. She will not. She's asleep right now because she's been staying up with me. When I move around because I can't sleep, she stays up. She has been staring at me for the past two weeks. Just staring. Not blinking. Just staring right at me. Or looking up at the ceiling or when we go outside. She rotates off from staring at me, staring at the Oh no, here we go. Okay, it's still on, I'm still rolling. I'm gonna go with it. Uh, this is a video of her, and I'm talking through it, so I'm gonna be quiet so y'all can hear me and see how long she does this. I only, I only, uh, what do you call it? I only recorded, let's see. Oh, that would have been weird if it was 144. It was one, a minute and 54 seconds of this video. I didn't plan on doing that. I just decided to click it off. Watch her. This is what she does all day long. And I think it's because the animals not only are sensing the shift in the earth and that we're about to go into the fifth dimension, they're seeing things. I think what she's looking at, I don't feel it's evil. I don't feel like any negative. I think it's our angels coming to like protect us. I think a viewer had said something about that too. Yes, brother, you're right. They're, they're here to protect us in this final hour and watch over us. And she's picking up on that as well as the way, the way she watches me is. I think she's seeing my body transforming. But anyway, there she is. Today is, oh, it just changed. It's, it's actually one in the morning now. It looks like Seven, I'm not recording, but I'm recording. And here's she's my not dog moving. Staring. She's not even blinking. Look at Just her. staring at me. This is not a. This is not a picture. She's what just sitting there. Look at her. You saw her Look blink. Her. This is not normal. Yay. What is the matter? What is it? Look at her. I'm moving to see if she follows me, and she does. You can see her blink. Just staring. You need to go outside. No, she doesn't have to go outside because my dog does a little circle and wiggles her tail. Serious. She gets real excited when I say outside. She's just staring. We were just outside a couple hours ago. As you can see, she has food and water. What is this? And a little while ago, she looked up at the ceiling and then followed yeah. something across the room. I believe it was an angel. Look at her. She doesn't move. She just stares at me all day. I move, and she moves. If I go out of the room to go to the bathroom, because she goes everywhere else with me except the bathroom, 
She gets on the very edge of the bed and stares out the door. It's bizarre, y'all. Okay, I just wanted to see. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. Is that it's not so weird, y'all? And it keeps, it keeps going. Fun. It keeps going. But uh, I won't bore y'all with that. But yeah, I just wanted y'all to see. It's not just a little stare, like stare for a couple seconds. This is like continuous. I think they're seeing our body transforming and they're feeling the shift in the earth. Okay, and again, no sleep till Brooklyn. No sleep till Brooklyn. <laughs> Hi, Sis Michelle. Yes, you're another sis in Christ that <laughs> has songs pop in your head. Okay, what else? Just trying to wrap up a few things. Wrap it up. All right, again, with the, uh, the shift, our bodies are shifting into the next dimension so we can go how you know have light enough bodies to go up and be transformed um you could have high blood pressure i don't know if i do or not but i have every other symptom heart palpitations depression dizziness joint aches and pains ringing in the ears i'm also having stomach problems but i don't know if they're hitting me with that or not and then extreme sleep uh, being messed with with your sleep like sleep 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 15 hours a day off and on and then don't sleep at all for for a week or two bizarre but I, we're shedding the old to go into the new so rejoice because it's actually it's actually good um, our DNA is shifting um, also a heads up the Lord has been showing me it's very 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 important to drink a lot of water Try to drink at least a gallon of water a day. I know that sounds like a lot, but it's hot out. Um, also, stay away from beef and pork. I've been showing that for a while, and that's hard because I love tacos, man, I'm from Texas. But honestly, the other day, I had some taco meat because you can buy like a thing of taco meat, and then I can make three or four meals out of it, out of some tacos. So, you know, it's cost effective for me. There wasn't anything in here left but the meat. And I looked at it and I said, I, I can't even eat that. I'm not even going to eat it. I just won't eat. We're going to start shifting from uh, eating meats. If you do eat meat, which I don't eat a lot of it, but I will eat tacos. I don't like pork at all. Never have. Well, I shouldn't say never have, but not that often. But yeah, we're not going to be wanting meat anymore. Chicken and fish is okay. But if you can eat... Uh, Fruit and vegetables, that's even better. Stay away from sweets and sugar. Yeah, I know, that's hard. Drink lots of water. And then also, now this I've always done, but it's called grazing, where you eat a bunch of small meals throughout the day. And we're going to eventually go into just, which I've been doing this too, all of a sudden I'm craving smoothies, like healthy smoothies. We're going to start going into liquid, liquid lunch. It's not the kind of liquid lunch I used to do, you dang drunks. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're going to be going into the new age. We'll be going to liquid lunches, basically having liquids. And then pretty soon there's going to be no need to eat is what I've been shown. Live foods are the best, which is obviously fresh fruits and veggies. Okay. But again, I want to stress... Get that water. Also, TIs, this is a great hint. Put water bottles around your room. Even if you have to just fill up old water bottles with sink water, put them around your room because that deflects some of the stuff that they're shooting at us. And they are hitting us hard right now. Let's see what else. Okay, the first and second wave, we're gonna be we're gonna be going up. I was told about a month ago, and I put a video out, the words I got when I woke up out of a vision, a dream vision, was the first wave goes to the beach, the second wave goes to the mountain. That's us, regulators. Okay, just be aware. Um, be aware that there's a big shift coming. They're probably going to be pulling out some martial law. And just stay in prayer. Stay prayed up and try to uh, try to get rest if you can i know i'm not being able to right now um 
Prayers going out again to Zeph Daniel and his family. All right, I love y'all, and I'm up. <laughs> In more ways than one. Go to bed.